Watching is meditation. Watching refers to witnessing. Indies, watching is meditation. What you watch is irrelevant. You can watch the trees, the rivers, the clouds, mountains, the children playing around. Watching is meditation. What you watch is not the point. The object is not the point. The quality of observation, the quality of being aware and alert, that is what meditation is all about. Children are beautiful. They symbolize pure energy, dancing and running around. Delight in it and watch it. The mind goes on creating trouble. Whatsoever you do, the mind goes on creating trouble. Now the mind inquires, is this meditation at all? Watching the children playing, making noise, running around, is this really meditation? Indeed, meditation means awareness. Whatsoever you do with awareness is meditation. It leads to inner harmony and oneness. Action is not the question. But the quality that you bring to your activity is far more important. I mean the quality that you bring to your activity. You are watching, but what is the quality of your watching? Is it unconscious or it is full of total awareness? If it is unconscious, it makes no sense. But if it is full of awareness, it leads you to meditation. Walking can be meditation. If you walk totally aware, sitting can be a meditation. If you sit fully aware, listening to the birds can be a meditation. If you listen with awareness, just listening to the inner noise of your mind, can be a meditation if you remain alert and watchful. The whole point is, one should not move in sleep, then whatsoever you do is meditation. And do not be worried about anything else. Once you have brought that quality to whatever you do, it is important. The mind constantly creates some anxiety Many times people inquire. They say they are feeling very good, very high. Is this real? Now the mind is creating a new trouble by asking, is this real? Mind has never asked this before. When you have a headache, do you ask, is this headache real? You trust in misery too much. A headache is unnecessarily real. But if you go high and you feel a peak of bliss, the mind starts creating a subtle anxiety. Is this real? You may be in a delusion, hallucination and imagination. You may be seeing a dream. Or if you cannot find anything else, then mind will say, it seems, the master must have hypnotized you. It seems the master must have hypnotized you. You cannot believe that you can be blissful. Because of this tendency of the mind, the mind clings to the miserable. Mind is always seeking and searching for hell and hellish things. Because it can exist only in misery, in bliss mind disappears. When you are singing and dancing, there is no mind. That is what happens in laughter. And when you are listening to a joke, only in misery does mind has life throbbing. Only in misery does its business go well. Whenever you are happy, it is not needed. When you are blissful, who cares about the mind? You have already transcended it. The moment mind 
feels left behind and neglected, it starts nagging you. It says, where are you going? Are you hypnotized? What illusions are you seeing? These are all dreams. Because of this tendency, millions of people have come to a meditative point some time or other in their life, but they miss the door and they fail to enter the inner precincts of meditation. The door comes, but they cannot believe in it. Meditation is as natural a phenomena as love. It happens to everybody. It is part of your being, but you do not believe in it and miss the opportunity. Even if it happens, you somehow overlook it. Or even if you feel that something is happening, you cannot say to others that something is happening because you are afraid Others will think that you have gone mad. Your own mind goes on saying that this is not possible. This is too good to be true. So you forget about it. In your childhood or later in youth, there must have been a few moments. It is impossible that those moments were not there. They do come in everybody's life. Just try to recollect again and you will remember there have been moments when something was opening but you were afraid and you closed the door. So you lost the opportunity. Sometimes sitting on a silent night looking at the stars and something was going to happen and you were apprehensive and frightened. Out of fear you started doing something else and you missed the beauty of such moments. You missed an opportunity, sometimes in deep love. Just sitting by the side of your beloved, something starts happening. Then you start moving in some unknown direction. You become scared. You pull yourself back to earth. Sometimes for no reason at all, just swimming in the river or running around the savanna in the hot sun or just relaxing on the beach and listening to the wild roar of the ocean. Something started happening inside you, like some inner alchemic change. Sometimes sitting inside and all of a sudden, and you start moving in a totally unknown dimension. As if you had wings and you could fly, but you became afraid and you started clinging to earth. It happens many times when people come to be initiated. The whole body begins to shake. People start clinging to earth. A door is very close and visible. Something tremendously valuable can happen, but people become afraid. Many times in each person's life, such moments come. Such moments are not aggressive. They cannot force anything against you. If you are ready, you can move. Slip into them, float with them, and reach to the farthest end of the existence. If you are afraid, you cling to your shore. Then you miss the boat. The boat cannot wait for you. So do not be disturbed by the mind in any way. Watching children playing around or watching a flower swaying in breeze is a beautiful meditation. In this, watching is meditation. There can be no need to think about it. If children are dancing, running around, playing, shaking, jumping, screaming and jogging, there is no need to think about it. Just watch. Watch without any thought or opinion. Be aware, but do not think. 
Do not verbalize. Remain awake and alert. Every day Lao Tzu used to go for a walk. One day his neighbor insisted that he would like to go with him for a walk. But Lao Tzu always denied. And every time the neighbor will meet Lao Tzu, he will insist that he wants to go on for a walk with him. Hesitatingly, one day Lao Tzu allowed him to go. As they were going for a walk, there was sunrise as normally happens. The neighbor said, look at the sunrise. Lao Tzu did not say anything at that moment. When he came back, he said, you will not be going to walk with me, you talk too much. He just said, look at the sunrise. What happens whenever any such moment comes, we immediately switch over to the mind and verbalize. That time it is necessary to be with the sunrise, to be with the blossoming of the flower. To be with the roaring of this ocean, to be with all that is happening. In that very moment, something of that will happen in your deep innerness and transcendence will happen. Watch without any thought or opinion. Be aware. Do not think. Remain awake and alert. If you start thinking about it, you have already moved away. Watching children, you can remember your own child back home or your childhood. Then too you have missed. Then instead of watching these children, you have entered the memory lanes. You have entered the memory lanes. A film starts moving. Then you are in daydream. Simply watch and nothing else is needed. Watching alone is sublime. Leads you to inner oneness, harmony and meditation.